OK, now another big feature in the new Logic 10.4.2 is that we can now relocate our sound library. Um, now, I can't show you this happening in real time because I've already moved my sound library using a special technique called symbolic links. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a, in a second. But I can show you how it works um, because one of our regular viewers, Tim, has sent some screenshots. OK, so we go to sound library and this new menu item is there relocate sound library now for me it's not active that's because I'm using symbolic links to relocate my library somewhere else already but you will see this not grayed out so you click relocate sound library then this box appears and it shows all other hard disks on your system okay so you can see um, the original Macintosh hard drive is the current sound library file location. And then there are three other disks attached. Two of them don't have enough free space. But the media disk, which is 3.22 terabytes, is big enough. right? So you choose another disk, in this case the media disk, and click relocate. And then Logic moves all the content. After it's finished, a new box pops up saying the sound library has been successfully moved to the new location. And you just click OK and that's that. All right. But here's the thing, once you've moved the library, if you then go back to relocate sound library, the box pops up again. You can see that clearly the library has been moved to that media disk, which is now the current sound library location. And you've got the option to relocate again. OK, in the case of this system owned by Tim, the only available disk on his system big enough to put the library on, to move it to, is to put it back on the original Macintosh hard drive. The other two disks haven't got enough space. So you've always got the ability to relocate again any time you want. So that's how all that works. Now, as I said, for people like me, and there's a lot of us out there who, we, who have already relocated our library using symbolic links, I'm going to do a bit of digging on the internet and see if I can find a way that we can get this new menu item, Relocate Sound Library, to become functional again. But I'm not holding out much hope. Because clearly, when Apple coded it, they didn't code it so that it would work with alias folders that have been set up using symbolic links. OK, so I'll look, I'll, I'll look into that. If I find anything, I'll let you guys know. OK, uh, let's move on and see what else we got.